We used to go to France twice a year. I miss my family, I miss my parents, uh, and I miss my friends in France for sure. 喺香港有人想走，但有人就选择留低或者作为暂借嘅屋企。两位法国人 Elodie 同埋 Andrea 喺香港做嘢、相识、拍拖，生活咗七年啦。Japan was for the cultural aspects, and because I, as a kid, play video games, read anime, enfin、uh, watch anime, read mangas. Uh, but Hong Kong, to be honest,、uh, it was just for a job opportunity.、Okay. I could find a job remotely in a French bank, and、uh, for me, it was、uh, just my first job ever. So I prefer travel and discover a new country, and to st- and start、uh, my f- my first job.、I、was supposed to stay one year. And it was a housewarming party of common friends, so it was. On a beautiful rooftop with the view on the Changchao port. <laughs> yeah. I remember you offered me some、uh, sangria. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get you drink, and then I make some jokes. And because she was laughing at my jokes,、uh, I, I feel okay. We have the same sense of humor.、Or... And at that time, I didn't realize, like, like I could, I could like him. We... Actually, we don't know very well Hong Kong. We don't know Hong Kong, yeah. What I did before coming to, to Hong Kong, I went on、uh, Google Map and Wikipedia, and I read the basics because I knew nothing. Hong Kong is a 3D city. Like we are not used to that coming from France. If you have a map and、uh, you have everything on 2D, but in Hong Kong you don't know there is a shop at the second floor, third floor. We are not、yeah. used to that. Oh, I, I remember also the metro. First time I took the metro, I was like so clean. I was like.、Yeah. Mm. No smell. Yeah. Like wow. And this, I remember, I took pictures for my parents. I took the the corridor and the wall, like the walls of the MTR. You know, in each station, different、yeah. color. That's all beautiful. So yeah. Clean. Yeah. And so clean. Yeah. No graphs. No.、Uh, no yeah, peas. <laughs> for me, the most impressive. Was the, yeah, the south of the island because it's a very sharp road and you see、uh, the cliff and the water <laughs> and, like, and you have this crazy miniverse、uh, going、uh, like this. Do you have an explanation why the red are faster? The two parts are are really what makes Hong Kong so good, like the very energetic city and the beautiful and big and wild、uh, nature. Yeah, in the south of France, I was used to go to the beach, but it's a small town. And living in a big city like Hong Kong and being able as well to have the beach at 30 minutes, this is kind of unique. And I think yeah, when people come just for a business trip, like one week、yeah. or only a few days, they don't have time to enjoy the green area. So they, they just go think, to Long Wai Fong. yeah, they do Long Wai Fong.、Uh, they do uh, just uh, Central, and they leave Hong Kong, and they know nothing.、Uh. What I hate the most in Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> The noise. Luckily, we can escape during the weekend, and we can go like on some islands. And it's when I'm back to France, and then I come back to Hong Kong, I realize even at like 4 a.m. we like in our bedroom.、Uh, recently, we we, we can hear <laughs> the workers、uh, at, at night. 4 a.m.、Right? Yeah, wow. No, and for me, the worst, really the worst, way, if we can say so, <laughs> it's when. Someone sees you rushing to enter the elevator, and you see them like that. <laughs> to, like close. Press, to close the door. <laughs> <laughs> But it it becomes funny at the end, like and you start to play the same game. I, I, once I did it、What? to someone. What? 话讲起法国文化，除咗艺术、时装，仲有美食，唯独味道系最能够解乡愁嘅。During the weekend, usually we cook for ourselves, or when we have friends at home, also we will cook. This is something we like. We like. I think for French people, it's important to to share foods. Yeah, to share foods. First, we drink, then we eat, then we drink again, and we chat, and we chat, and we talk about food. So today we are uh, cooking gratin、uh, dauphinois, which is a, a dish that. My mom used to do. <laughs> It's basically potatoes and cream. It's from the Lyon region, and it's kind of typical family dish because you cook a big portion and then you share and you serve on Sunday with a roasted chicken or like with a with a meat usually. 
Ratatouille is typical from south of France, from Provence, and the base of the recipe is tomato, olive oil, and then a lot of different um, uh, vegetables like uh, peppers, zucchini, and eggplant. It's easy to cook because you put all vegetables and uh, it cook for one two hours, and then it's uh, it's 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 delicious. This dish is really reminding me my childhood, so I want to learn how to cook it by myself while I'm abroad. And the main difference is that in France, we, maybe we could have a bigger kitchen, come home at 9 or 10 p.m. sometimes. So in that case, I'm happy Adrian is at home, then he can cook for me. <laughs> They're gonna have the sibas, which is based on fresh sibas and lemon butter. And it comes from a recipe from my grandmother. My grandmother was born in Morocco, and so I'm doing a very Middle East taste into that dumpling, making the shell and bow. But inside, I put some foie gras. It's one bite, it's one spoon. As a guaylo, I didn't want it to have the same, the same approach than all the Chinese. If I try to do Cantonese dumpling, no one will come to me. So I decided to add some Western ingredients. So here it's the region where we come from. We kind of have this little map to remind us where do we come from. This picture is exactly where we first met with Adrian, with our two friends. So that was on the rooftop in Chengchao. I miss my family, I miss my grandparents, I miss my parents, uh, and I miss my friends in France for sure. Luckily we have some friends in Hong Kong as well now. Keep us warm, kind of. We plan to go back to France at some point. Especially because Okay, now we cannot go back to France. So for Christmas, for the first time, we didn't spend Christmas with our families. Yeah, we never planned to plan to leave Hong Kong. We know as well that we will not stay forever in Hong Kong. Like. Especially if you still have friends and family there, you will always feel that a part of you is in your home country. Mm. So a part of our story, of our childhood, the, the things we loved, this is still part of ourselves. I love Hong Kong. I spent 11 years, so it's kind of home. For me, it's not final home. Like, it's not my... Uh... Remember to subscribe to the channel.